Across this great nation, there is a culture of people who carry on a heritage. They have an intangible quality that can't be described, but it comes from deep within their hearts. They share an appreciation for the greatest things that come from Mother Earth. They watch over, understand, and care for the vast wilds of this great country. Fishing, hunting, and trapping are the foundations that Canada was built on. For over two centuries, we have taken to the woods and water to pursue wild game. Today, it's about conservation, preservation, and wildlife management. Whether you are a man or woman, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say, I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffix Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Excalibur Crossbones, and Yukon Gear. There you go. Okay, you gotta fish it now. Turn your handle. Introducing kids to fishing might be one of the most rewarding things a parent can do. Not only does it let your kids experience the outdoors and the wildlife, but it puts you in a place where you can connect with them on a level that's hard to find anywhere else. Yeah. I'm grateful that my dad was a fisherman and introduced me to fishing at a very young age. From fishing off a dock to opening weekend trips to a far off lake, the one constant thing in my life was fishing. Whether in a bass tournament or a special day out with my grandpa, it has kept me grounded and immersed in the outdoors. Well, now I too am a dad, and to pay it forward, I surprised my dad and youngest daughter with a Father's Day fly-in trip to one of my favorite places in the world. Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. After a half a day drive to Cochrane, Ontario, we checked in at the airbase where we loaded our gear onto a plane and buckled in for an exciting flight to Kasagami Lake. The thrill of taking a float plane into a wilderness fishing lodge is something that every angler should experience. Sure, the promise of an amazing fishing trip and gourmet meal is the main attraction, but the journey itself is what makes these trips so memorable. When the plane touches down and the hatch opens, Charlie McDonald, the lodge manager, is always there to welcome new guests and see off the old guests. <laughs> and speaking of guests, what a small world it is. Our good friend John Ward of Camillus Knives was there with his family and were on their way out as we were on our way in. And, uh, the fishing has been unbelievable. Terrific. Yeah, it's been incredible and you guys are supposed to get some really nice weather. Good. So, yeah, yeah. It's really gonna... I'm sure both August and my dad were anxious to see the place, but with there still being a half day to hit the water, we took a short run down the lake and tried our hand at catching some walleye and pike. Here he comes. Oh, he cranked it, man. It's going to be a big fish, Gus. Look at that. <laughs> He might have one of those left in him, but it's up to you. It's a fat one. He's I'm tall as Fed it up. Ah, hey, you come here. You... Ah. I wanna see. Oh. He's in the net. We're gonna open it and he's got a measuring tape. Okay, watch what he does here. I'm right on the... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Try that again. 39, 40, 
40. Okay, I'm there. 40. You see that? 40. Just touches 40, over 40. 40 and an eighth. Beautiful. Okay. You got your cradle? I'm taller. Are you taller? Here. <laughs> nice pike. Look at the back on him. Hey? You got big teeth like a shark. Well, that's a good warm up fish anyway. What a beauty. Come here and watch him swim away, kid. Ready? He's gonna go. Think I should let him go? Yeah. Watch. Down into the depths. Pretty big, eh? No? Want me to catch a bigger one? You're gonna catch a bigger one. No, going back to the lodge. She was hungry. Oh well, that was good. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. With a good night's rest and a hot breakfast, it was finally time for us to hit the lake and have the true Kasagami experience. What was the first fish you ever caught there, Dad? Catfish. Were you in a boat or on the dock when you caught your first fish? Oh, on the edge of a bank. You were on the bank? Yeah. With a fish around like that? Nope. Bamboo pole. Nope. A little bait casting reel and a little, a little rod, a five foot rod. I had a little piece of red rag on a hook. <laughs> what? That's what we used to use to catch those catfish with. Just a little red piece of red rag on a hook. And they'd grab it. You have a bite? I had a bite. What do you got, a snag? Yeah. Snagged on the locks? Snagged on a fish. Holy smokes, look at the size of this fish. You caught a bite. <laughs> Over here. Bring it over here to me. <laughs> Hammer handle. That's a pike. <laughs> wow, well, Gussie, way to go. Let me see this way. Okay, move your lure. That's a pike. <laughs> it is? You're going to hold it? You're not holding pike, just walleye, eh? You know what pike you got? Big teeth. A mouthful of teeth. Look in there. Sharp teeth. <laughs> See them all? That's a baby pike, but it's a nice That's a hammer handle. Nice one, half as long as you. Think you can get a bigger one? We'll let this one go, all right? <laughs> but cast out there, I'm pretty sure there's another one waiting for you. Might be. I mean, the next fish gets a toonie. I'm impressed. That's the first time I've given you a spin. Wheel to use She's doing a good job with it. You've mastered it. What's that reel called? Little Ripper. Little Ripper. That's going to be your new nickname. <laughs> oh, yeah. The old rag on the hook trick works. What's he got, Gus? Okay, that's good here. We'll crane it over to me. Here. box of nerds to eat. <laughs> oh, thanks. Ah, there we are. Oh, got one. Right under the boat? Yep. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Lord. Hang on. Look at the size of that one. That's a nice one. <laughs> With that Storm 360 search bait in his mouth. There we are. Wow. How long is that? Oh, 20 inches, inches. 20 inches. There he is. Give that to Jake for lunch. I got one! Whoa! There, see, I told ya. This one's worth two bucks. I already got my two dollars. Oh. Nobody else can see Well, then it's a nerd fish. Oh, it's a big fat one. 
Look how deep he took that fig. The nursing was only mine. Look at this fig. <laughs> and Daddy, the nursing was only one. Hey? Look at this fig. Look at that. It's okay, disappeared in his mouth. I'll give you the nerd thing. Are you going to open the nerds? Yep. I need the pliers there, Captain. That's a nice little fish. Uh, Look at that. Open. You never said who doesn't get it. <sighs> suck that. His bait. eyes are white. White down. He ate that. That's a three and a half inch piece of plastic. <laughs> He's got a bite out of his tail. Okay, leave it down there. You ready? All of us are in now. We're going to catch one first. Yes, Kisakami is famous for big pike, but there's also no better place for filling the boat with decent sized walleye. Something you can do all day long if you choose to. The morning is spent cruising the lake and casting to points and shoals, trying to catch a few walleye for shore lunch. I did see a few, right? That's a double header, but you can literally catch probably as many as you want of these. Or until your arm gets tired, your arm tired? Yeah, my shoulder gets sore from hauling all these fish in. Hmm. This couldn't have been a better primer for all of us. August cut her first walleye, my dad was getting the feel for how the fish bite, and we even got to make a few casts to see if any big pike were cruising in the shallows. Look, there's a fish on my rod. Is it a big one? <laughs> Holy, it's gonna bend your rod right in half! <laughs> pike? Yeah, big pike. This is the biggest fish for her, for sure. <laughs> Out that way. <laughs> oh, you got a giant. Keep going, kiddo. Turn that reel. Hang on, kid. Okay, right there. Whoa, look at that, August. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll come and help you. You just hold them there, okay? That a girl. Wow, he's a drag ripper. Hold your rod up high. I'm gonna grab him behind the head, okay? You do that. Okay, right there, hold him there. He's here. No more reeling. Oh, he's gonna bite break your rod if he runs again. Okay? Gonna take off. I got the biggest fish. Look at this. Oh, look at Guzzy's fish. <laughs> I caught the biggest fish. Wow. Where's those pandy dandy? Oh, I got it. There we are. I caught the biggest fish. Okay, put your rod over here. Come and sit with me. Hurry up. Hold your Hold rod. Hold the fish hand. up so I can see it. Okay, you ready? Nice fish. Way to go, Gus. <laughs> that thing's almost as big as you. <laughs> what? You want to let him go? You got to hold him by the tail. Way to go, Gussie. No! You hold him by the I tail. The Grab him there. Thing. Grab your hand around there. And then come with me to the. Ah. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go. I the Whoa! That was ornery. I tried to let him go gently, but he's like. Mad that he got beat up by a little girl. And five dollars. Is he bragging? Huh. He's complaining it isn't ten. That was a nice pipe. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Browning Ammunition. Whoa! Grandpa's just schooling us. There we got him now. Oh, look at this thing. Nicely done. He's got a scar on him from a pike. It's been a lot of years since my dad caught this many walleye. I can guarantee that. Grandpa's working them over here. He's finessing them in. And I can also guarantee that he's anticipating shore lunch as much as I am. Ahahaha! I think I'm out fishing you now, Gus. Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's just something it's a coming gigantic in. walleye. Oh, it is too. Ooh. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish, 18 in inches. 
bottom of the lip. Want to kiss this one? No. Go oh, kiss fish. Eh? You want to kiss no. them guys? No! I want to kiss a fish! Can we do that in Newfoundland? Kiss the codfish? Yeah, well, we've got enough to eat, so I'm letting them go. Ah, good. What do you got, kid? Nothing. No? Oh, nice walleye. Okay, bring them over to me. You ready? Ah. Now we can have lunch, right? Pulling up to a beach and exploring the shoreline is half the fun of a shore lunch. But when the guides bring the dinner bell, it's time to chow down. Good, eh? Excellent. After you finish lunch, it's back in the boats and a run to some shallow bays to try your luck, hooking into some big pike. All right, we found the snake pit. Now we just gotta catch one. Now with all the experience my dad has. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got him. It's refreshing to see that he can still learn a thing or two. Oh, that's a good one. why I use such heavy gear. <laughs> Kisogamy pike are aggressive. That's probably the biggest pike you ever caught in your life. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> He's not in yet though. Grandpa got a big one, August. Bigger. Oh, bigger. <laughs> Pull him this way, this way. Don't lift that way. Yeah, there you go. We got him. Nice job. <laughs> uh, baby sitting here in the front of the boat. You okay under there? You worn out now? Nope. On that shoulder. Still there. This has got to be 36 inches for you to set a personal all time record. I think that's the biggest pike I've ever caught. Yeah. Throw it out, as soon as it hit the water, he grabbed it. You want to measure him? <laughs> I don't want him to be longer than mine. Maybe I'll shortchange you an inch. Uh. Okay, I'm out to... You there? Me too. 37? <laughs> you beat him by an inch. You want to hold him up and get a picture? Yeah. No, no, you need to put that down and hold the fish. Oh, you want to take it out of the water? Yeah, you're taking oh. a picture of you. He wants to go already. Gee, ah, he's happy. Let him go. Nice work. Thanks. Took you 70 some odd years to fly up here and catch one bigger than your <laughs> personal record out of East Lake or West Lake. West East Lake is where it came oh. out of, yeah. What a fantastic day. Countless fish, lots of laughs, and some See, memories yeah. that will last oh, a gosh. lifetime. Yes. That's a log. That's a log. Want to take my picture with it? <laughs> no. Now, for those curious about bringing kids on a fly-in trip, I say do it. Ah, I saw its teeth and they're sharp. They are sharp. Bye-bye. August had the time of her life, and at no point did she find herself with nothing to do. The Kasagami staff are second to none and make you feel like part of the family when you're there. The lodge specializes in relaxation. Movies, Wi-Fi, shuffleboard, darts, and a spectacular view of a Kasagami sunset while enjoying a gourmet dinner. The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the walleye, I used a 6 foot 7 medium action Rapala R-Type rod and 1500 series R-Type reel spooled with 20 pound suffix braid and a 10 pound suffix fluorocarbon leader. And the walleye were eating an 8 pound Storm 360 GT search bait. Now you would think that a whole day of fishing would wear Ken and her granddad down, but as soon as dinner was over, she headed for the dock where everyone enjoys making a few casts while watching the sunset. That is, until a seven-year-old sets the hook into a giant pike and clears the dock as it gives her the fight of her life. Watching my little girl tangle with such an awesome fish and handle it through countless line-peeling runs was one of my proudest moments. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good thing we got your pink fire flyers here. Easy now, don't let your line go slack. Lift them up, honey. We gotta see them eventually here. He's big. Oh, he's getting close tail. now. Whoa, oh. my goodness, August. Whoa, that's a good one. Get ready. <laughs> yeah. I cut my wrist. Okay. Let's Captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you in part by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Angler and Hunter Television has been brought to you by Canadian Tire, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk's Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools. Excalibur Crossbows, and Yukon Gear. For more information on the products used in this episode of Angler and Hunter Television, visit AHTV.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, conserve and protect our great outdoors.